Hi, friends. Happy Landmas Day 6. Today I'm following up from yesterday's PR haul and wanted to put some of these fabulous new products to the test. A few others trickled in afterward like this and I'm very excited to play. So that's what we're gonna do today. I've actually already put a base on. I put foundation and concealer on just cause I wanted to properly give you some full thoughts later on about the, the combination I showed in my everyday winter makeup and I don't have anything else new to show you at the moment. So base is done and we're gonna play with some color products here today. If you do like these makeup playing videos, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos from me, we are currently uploading a video every day in December. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when we are here uploading a new video. <laughs> All right guys, let's zoom you in and get started on the makeup. Okay, so we have lots of new and exciting beauty to play with here today. And I think that I am going to start with my brows, because I'm gonna do the brows and the eyes first. So we can shape our face, and just in case we have any fallout with the eye products, we are prepared and we haven't perfected it too much. So, let us begin. I am so excited to try these, you guys. This is Refi Beauty by Jess Hunt. If you don't follow Jess Hunt on Instagram, then you will not know yet what perfection is until you do. <laughs> She's so stunning, it's insane. And these are her new brow products. This is her new brow line, Refi. And I did pick up two of the, oh dear. It doesn't have the names written on it. Okay, this is, the brow pomade and this is the brow sculpt. I got the brow pomades in two different shades, but I just realized there's like no labels or anything on here. So I can't tell which one is which. We'll, we'll open it up and see. I think I'm gonna start with the brow sculpt because that's normally what I would do like with my got to be hair wax or the soap brows. I put the solidifying product on first and then I go in with the color. So this is the little, the little wand here. It looks like white. It kind of looks like lash glue. Let's put it. Oh, wow, 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 there's so much product there. Okay, let's put it on. Jess Hunt's eyebrows are like ridiculous, ridiculous, unhuman. Oh, wow, stunning, stunning brows. I would only dream of having brows like that woman. Whoa. <laughs> wow, wow, I was not expecting that. That like, I mean, yeah, she's lifted, holy crap. I do find that the pushing, like pressing down of the brows always makes such a difference because it's like allowing the product to stick. What the frick? That's amazing. <laughs> what kind of, where's the ingredient list, homie? What kind of cow licking freaking cement did you put in this? Holy. And that was so easy to use. I'd say in comparison to the got to be wax, like this is a lot lighter. I mean, it's not a hair gel, right? Like this, it felt very thin. I don't have any like sticky goopy bits left on my fingers. Holy, okay, I'm gonna have to keep playing with that because I wanna see like what the wear time is. Cause sometimes like, yeah, it can look great right away, but then the hairs might fall more throughout the day. But that is what is happening here. Wow, Jess Hunt coming in hot with the freaking magic. Wow. Okay, well, let's move on to the pomade and, you know, fill in some hairs, fill in these gaps. I've just twisted off the ends to see what color. <laughs> I'm working with. I'm gonna start with the lighter one. So this brow product is actually super genius. You have the pen here and it twists off the pomades there and then this comes off and you have the brush. Very much like the Benefit Cabral, but just in a different little more marker holding shape. It's actually a lot easier to hold this. The Benefit one, like the Cabral, it's quite a thin, thin little, you know, they have like a pointed, why can't I say this? <laughs> the brush, the lid is very thin. So sometimes it can be a little hard to hold, whereas this one definitely has more of a grip. The one thing I don't like already is this brush. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's quite thick, like it's quite wide. Whereas I like to draw the thin hair strokes. I don't know if we're gonna be friends, but let's try it for science. So I, I'm using the lighter of the two that I bought. I'll write it in the description box down below. I can't remember offhand what it's called. And again, it's not written on the bottom. So the product is really wet. It's a lot less like waxy than I thought it was gonna be. A lot of times brow products are a little bit more solid feeling. This is quite liquidy, like creamy feeling. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this brush. I think it's too wide for what I want to use it for, but it's not applying badly. I just feel like I have to be like very extra, extra precise with it. 
I, <laughs> I have no explanation as to why this is happening on this side. I'm just gonna blame the thick brush. Sometimes what I like to do is I'll take a really, really thin, thin brush. This is the Smith 202 brush, and it might not like do anything too noticeably, but what I'll do is just kind of run it through the product. Like, you know, I'm trying to draw on hairs here, so I'll kind of try and wiggle this through the brow if it's looking really thick, and just try to make it look a little bit more feathery, like I'm pushing some of the product away in strokes, just like how we're applying it. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't make a difference, but I feel like that helped a little bit, just spacing out some of the product. So there's a little fun tip for you. That's the brow, guys, those are the brows. These look amazing as a first application, like I've already just said a million times. I, I love this packaging. I love the concept that you get both of them here. That was super easy to use. I like the grip, like the width is good. The pomade was a little bit liquidy when I first touched it, but it didn't seem to cause any issue when applying it, so that was totally fine. I like how tough and dense the brush is. I do wish it was a little bit thinner, but overall, pleasantly wonderful to use, and I am in awe. <laughs> <laughs> the brow sculpt. That is crazy. I'll keep you guys updated. I mean, you know, we're posting vids every day, so I'll continue to use this and see what the wear time is like. We'll see how it wears. Super excited. Have any of you guys tried Refi Beauty? I don't know if it's Refi or Refi. I feel like I've seen people calling it Refi. It's also redefining beauty, so is it Refi? Ref this. <laughs> have any of you guys tried it? And what have your thoughts been on the brow sculpt? I am shocked. This looks great. Let's move into the eyes, you guys. Those are the brows done. I am so, so excited to dip into the Vive Essential Palette. This is Jamie Genevieve's brand. This is the Essential Eye Palette here. It is massive, but in terms of the amount of product that you're getting, that is fabulous, especially if you are a neutral lover like myself and you're gonna use this a lot. I'm so excited for her. I think she did such an amazing job with putting these shades together and I have been watching all of her tutorials, all of the Vive Muse tutorials, and I'm going to attempt one today. I have not dipped into this. This is gonna be the maiden voyage here, guys, so let us play. I wanna do like Jamie Genevieve does and start with the NARS Light Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. She uses the deeper one, but I feel like uh, the deeper one would be too deep on me, so I am going to use the light one and just smudge this around as a nice base. I'm gonna start here with the shade Buff. Uh, this is super gorgeous, this shadow. A really, really nice, like, light, warm brown. So I'm using a big blending brush. This is the Smith 232 brush, and I'm just trying to very, very softly diffuse that all the way out. Okay, I'm gonna then go in with Delicious and use this to deepen up that crease. This is a Refer 01 brush. And I'm gonna be placing that out onto this outer corner. And I kind of, I like to like drag it along the lash line too. What a gorgeous chocolatey brown shade this is. I'm going back in with the big fluffy brush just to blend that out in the crease. I wanna keep the depth like more into an angular shape because we are gonna go in and do a little bit of a an eyeshadow wing as, as always. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to take a little pointy brush. This is the MAC 218. I think, I think like the SE on it means special edition. So whatever small brush you have, I'm gonna go into Good Night. Good Night, the lovely black shade here. And we are going to press that along the lash line. I'm only going as far as I've put that uh, delicious chocolate brown. So I'm really softly pressing that onto the lashes. That is such a nice black. <gasps> wow, it's so pigmented. And then I'll kind of just flip it and then lightly dust that along the lashes. Like I'm putting the bulk of the pigment here on the outer corner and then just lightly, softly, softly blending that towards the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm gonna try and take that to the best of my ability up towards the tip of the brow, <laughs> uh, which sometimes for me does not work so successfully. I was just taking a little Q-tip and attempting to clean that up because for some reason my hands are just wiggling 
wiggling. It must be because I've had so much caffeine today. Also in that entire time, no fallout. No fallout with the black. That is so impressive. Okay, so then what I wanna do is go back with Delicious, this warm chocolatey brown. That really is really delicious. And I wanna press that along the top of the liner just to kind of blend it up and out. I want to make it less of a harsh line and more of a, of a blended diffused shadow. So I'm just gonna try to blend that out and give it more of a diffused look. Yeah, like already that's just so much softer. Oh, oh man, okay, I've tried my best <laughs> to make that even, but what beautiful beautiful shadows in here, they blended out like perfection, truly perfection. I'm gonna leave this wing here for now. I'm gonna dip into this shade Glimmer and use this as an inner corner highlight because I didn't have any fallout with these shadows, which I am so impressed by, especially how much <laughs> flipping I was doing with the deeper shades. So I'm actually pretty okay with my concealer and I think it's stayed put nicely. And also put that on the brow bone which brows are still, the brows are still popping, guys. They're still lifted. I'm amazed, amazed, dazed and amazed. And then what I'm gonna do is take my Nude Sticks Chocolate, Chocolate Eye Pencil, and I'm gonna run that along the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna take a mixture of buff and delicious and just run that along the lower lashes. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna take my NARS Rue Bonaparte, Rue Bonaparte, and put a little bit of lightness, just a little bit. My eyes are quite pink and red because they are dry and my blinking is back in full force. And I just wanna help offset that, the, the pink hue in there a little bit. Another new exciting product. This is the most recent lid luster offering from Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is in the shade Honey, <gasps> you guys, it looks glorious. Look at this beautiful honey shade. Oh man, I am absolutely getting some of that on my eyeballs right now. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna really lightly, really, really lightly press that onto the innermost bit of the lid. How pretty is that shade? Just adding a lovely little dusting of sparkle to this eye look. I'm gonna leave the eyes for now and I wanna dip into some new face products. KKW Beauty sent the blush duos along. This is the bronzer and then I also have the classic peach blush duo here and I wanted to play with these and see how the bronzer performs. I'm very excited about this. So in a little duo here, we've got a matte and a shimmer. So I'm gonna take my Refer 05 brush and just start with the matte side. I just want to see how this bronzer applies. I'm going to do a little sculpting moment here and bring some life into the cheeks. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to take a layer of the shimmer. Oh yeah, the shimmer is a lot more pigmented. So maybe just blending the two together would be most effective, but the shimmer is like bringing the warmth, baby. Woo! And then I'm taking a little brush and just bringing that down the center of my nose. Okay, for the blush, I'm gonna use the classic peach and I think I'll just take one dip into each. One dip into the matte, one dip into the shimmer. And just bring that onto the apples of my cheeks, the little, hmm? the little center round part and then I just like to blend it up. I feel like this is like a really pigmented blush, so I'm trying to use a very, very light hand with that color, but it's really nice. And this is my Refer 04 brush. Cute. Okay, let's go back to Vive. Vive, and I have the Holy Chic highlighter here. This is the second from the lightest. I definitely could have used the lightest. I didn't get my hands on it. It sold out when I made my order. So hoping that this will be okay and not too dark. Ooh, ooh yeah, she's pretty. Ooh. What a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight. 
Take a little bit of that on the tip of the nose, bridge of the nose. Wow, that is pigmented. I just turned my lips into a highlighter, beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do the lips. I want to use, I think, the Vive, Vive Velvet Sands lip liner. Oh my God, I also have a zit under my lip. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it and I cannot get away with disguising that as a mole. <laughs> These liners are really creamy and lovely. And then for the lipstick, look at the little V's embossed in there. It's so pretty. This is the shade 90s. 90s. It's a little bit like a cool toned, cool toned beige lip. I feel like it's a little bit too beiged out for me. I feel like I need something a little bit deeper. I'm gonna try going in with Bark. This is the deeper liner. I feel like I need a little bit of, a little bit more color here or else I kind of look a little washed out. I literally can't believe this sit here. <laughs> and I think I wanna put a little bit of gloss on here. This is the Clarins Instant Light Comfort Oil in the shade 01 Honey. I need a little bit of gloss. I feel like it'll just give this a little bit more life. But definitely, I like the look of going in with bark. Look at that lip, guys. Okay, I'm gonna give the face a spritz with MAC Fix Plus or a, just a full proper dousing. And then I'm gonna apply mascara to finish off the look. And this is the finished makeup look. Ooh! I am very thrilled with it. I am so thrilled with this eye and the shadows, oh, they blended out so beautifully. And for me, a neutral lover, this is, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much all I require in an eyeshadow. And the way that it blended, the pigment, like the black was so perfect. Perfect, Jamie Genevieve, we bow down to you. And I was so excited to play with a few other new products here today, guys, and create this look. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of some of these new launches. Oh my God, I forgot to wave the brow. I am like in shock on this brow. We'll keep you guys posted. It's just been a good day overall for new launches, guys. So let me know what you think of this look and please do let me know as always in the comments if there are any other brands or products that you want to see me try here on my channel or if there's some oldies that you want me to pull out and play with as well. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed this look and I will see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye!